the Oscars for last night. Here to talk about it is one of our writers, Amber Ruffin, with her very own Oscars recap. Nothing like the magic of the Oscars, and last night was no exception. First things first, Beyonce's performance was breathtaking. Her song about how good it is to be alive made me feel so good to be alive. It just filled me with hope, a hope that would never dissipate. Then Troy Kotzer won for Coda, and Seth, when the audience stood up and applauded and signed for him, it was quite the moment, a moment that would surely be the focus of the evening. <laughs> During a performance of We Don't Talk About Bruno, Megan the Stallion rapped and it was heaven. It's things like these that make you feel like you're having a moment with all of America. And then here's a sentence we will say for the rest of our lives. Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. <laughs> and life as we know it changed forever. <laughs> I had hoped that it was a bit, but that hope quickly turned to dust. A dark sadness filled my home. A darkness I couldn't escape. Had the Oscars lost its magic? My sister Lacey called me and we screamed. We screamed a long, loud scream of excitement, terror, I don't know. But we screamed it with all of America. We tried to stay engaged, but there was no more show after that. There was no more anything. The once fluffy couch I was sitting on suddenly felt hard and unwelcoming. My heated blanket went cool. The sweet tea I was enjoying lost all its flavor. <laughs> the Oscars took everything I thought I knew and flushed it down the toilet in this new world. Could I survive? I know now why they don't have a category for best horror movie, because the best horror movie is the Oscars. <laughs> Lacey called back, this time with FaceTime. I needed to see her screaming face to know I wasn't dreaming. And then it happened. The announcer said, and the best, and the Oscar for best actor goes to, and all of America collectively held their breath, bit their cuticles. And then Will Smith won for best actor. His acceptance speech lasted for five minutes and 25 seconds. And I did not breathe for five minutes and 25 seconds. The earth cracked open and I slipped through. I heard echoes of, I'm sorry, but never to Chris Rock. I, I, I'm not sure what he said because again, I'm in the center of the earth at this point. It comes to an end and I scroll Twitter and I read jokes and think pieces and opinions about it. And while I felt like I had seen something horrible and private that made me feel great shame, I found out everyone in America felt the same way I did. <laughs> and that, my friends, is the magic of the Oscars.